What is happening? I am Minnesota Vikings man, 28, and I am back. Um, I forgot to mention in my last video that I was going to be away for the weekend. Um, I had uh, to go down, well, down east um, to for a family event. So you know, left. Friday uh, evening, got back Sunday night, um, so now it's Monday e evening, and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about you know, what happened in the NFL, you know, through the week through the weekend basically, and just up and some updates uh, later. Um, what I'm gonna do for the next month. So, okay, so here we go. First off, um, Justin Houston. Uh, this was on Thursday, I believe. Let me just make sure. 21st was a Thursday, yes. Okay. He signed a two-year, $24 million contract with the Indianapolis Colts. Um, Colts, great signing by them. Um, they have needed, you know, some defense players for a while, and I think Justin Houston's the right guy. Um, to to do it, so um, great by the Indianapolis Colts. Their D D line um, should be a lot better. Now, G um, Jared Cook, um, as we know, um, is going to is reportedly going to sign with the New Orleans Saints. Now today, actually today, um, we found out some maybe details of it. Um, he's going to receive $8 million fully guaranteed from the Saints in 2019. It might just be a one-year deal. We don't know how many years, but right now they're, they're sort of predicting one year, $8 million. Who knows? Um, for the Saints, I, you know, again, I love it. Um, they haven't had a really true tight end since Jimmy Graham, um, who has, you know, he has, you know, sort of declined ever since he left New Orleans. He has never been the same. So I think now, now um, that Jared Cook is going to the Saints, I think Drew Brees um, is going to have a lot more passing options, uh, and you know he doesn't have to just give it to Michael Thomas or just like throw it to Alvin Kamara. You know he will have a tight end in Jared Cook. So um, great by them. Um, now to go into the next one, next story evolving tight ends. Um, this happened on Sunday. I was on, on the a pl plane going back home, and um, luckily it had TV. I was, you know, just looking through live TV. Um, I was watching uh, some basketball on uh, ES ESPN, you know, March Madness and all that. Um, and I look at the bottom, I see breaking news. Uh, Rob Gronkowski is going to retire. So then I immediately, you know, go... Switch it to NFL Network. I'm like, oh my. So, um, Rob Gronkowski, um, tight end of the New England Patriots, is retiring. Now, this is huge. Um, I think he is only 29 uh, years old. Um, he about to turn 30. Um, he has had a lot of injuries. So I do not blame him. This is, I mean, never came to me as a, like a big surprise, but um, you know, it's always you know somewhat, it's somewhat of a surprise because his career, you know, wasn't as long as some other um, tight ends in history. Um, just going over his stats, um, he has had one, two, three, four, one thousand yard seasons. Um, and total of, um, 79 touchdowns in career, 7,861 yards. Obviously, when you have Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, it makes, you know, things a lot, you know, easier. But, you know, I'm not saying that's just because, that's why he, you know, is great. Um, he is, you know, he's the most dominant tight end in history, in my opinion. Um, I've been going... Uh, back and forth and thinking about who's the best tight end of all time. Um, it, it's it's tough. 
because you know you you sort of I sort of want to include the Bel Belichick Brady into it. It does count somewhat. I don't think he's the best tight end of all time. I still think Tony Gonzalez is the best tight end of all time. Um, just, you know, based on longevity and just, like, he, you know, how many, like, receiving yards he he has, you know, and he, how he changed the game for tight ends. Um, th then maybe I would put Robert Krakowski second and Shannon Sharp third. Uh, but those are my, you know... Like top, those are my top three in order. Um, I think a lot of people could say, you know, those would be in their three, just you know, mixed around a little bit. Um, so that's just my opinion on that. So, and then now finally, um, up update. So first off, I do want to thank you. Um, over the weekend, I got uh, we reached uh, five thousand views. So, uh, gr very grateful for for that. And, you know, always you know. The goal, goal I set um, in a previous video that I made, uh, you know, just get, you know, ten thousand views by the end of next season, which I think can can happen, you know, and you know have thirty one thirty one subscribers. So thank you all uh, for tuning in and watching. Hope you'll keep tuning in and watching as we head into next season. Now for the next uh, m month or so, we're getting to draft time. We're really getting to draft time. Um, definitely gain some uh, mock mock drafts. Um, I'm still only going to do round one for you know the whole whole team, every every team, and then a Vikings seven round uh, mock draft. Now I think I might. I'm not sure which one I'm going to release uh, over the weekend um, because you know you because the later picks for the Vikings, like you know when you pre do like. Fifth through seventh round, you know, you maybe not know the players uh, very well, so I have to do a lot of research, research on that. But it's you know, it's not that many uh, picks as you know. You do thirty-two picks. Um, it's but you know, you know, have a good good sense of which which, which team is going to pick what because you know of their needs and their big bigger names. So I'll, I'll decide. You'll be it'll sort of be a surprise. Um, but if I do one this weekend, I'll do the ne other one next week, the other weekend after that. And then, um, let me see, I need to get my calendar out. Okay, um, and then, you know, we're, and then at, uh, bet between that time, we're going to have the NFL schedule come out. Um, so I will do that and go over the Minnesota Vikings schedule. Um, and maybe look in, and maybe just uh, do some draft um prospects for the for the Vikings and maybe break down um some key players mainly offensive linemen some ta you know some tackles some guards uh but yeah so that's pretty much my plan for this next month um get when we get especially now that we're in the we're in draft mode right now um after the draft I will give you guys I'll make an update video of what I'm going to do after that uh but you know, as, as you know, we're getting to draft draft time. That's mostly what I'm foc my videos are going to be focusing on, unless we have any other breaking news. But, you know, free agency has, you know, died down um, a little bit. I mean, a lot now. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, this has been Minnesota Vikings fan 28. And as always, Skull.